Hey everyone, I felt like taking a step outside of my comfort zone this week and I wanted to try something a little different from the normal content that I push out. See, I have a really bad habit that I tend to buy games in bundles and sometimes those games will just sit in my library for years and years not being played. I'm definitely guilty of purchasing a few games that I don't play immediately and then forgetting about them entirely when something new comes out. Well, I wanted to play something this week that was exactly that, so I went looking through my library for a game that I hadn't yet played and I knew very little about. That was when I found a game called Paratopic. Normally on my channel, I do pick out my games pretty selectively. Of course, I like to feel comfortable in a game that fits with my favorite genres, but occasionally I do like playing games that share an entirely different perspective into the world of video games. Paratopic is a game that uses the narrative to take you on a journey through a fever dream of trading places with several individuals. To better explain how this works, I'd really like to just go over the first few minutes of the game. The story begins with whom I'm assuming to be an officer at a police station. He's grueling me on a crime that I wasn't even sure about, and at one point he even called me a smuggler. So I was clearly in possession of some contraband, and I got caught. No matter what I do in this situation, it seems like my fate is sealed. After dismissing my request for a lawyer, the man tells me that no one's coming to save me. And as he starts to walk away, I look around the room to get a better sense of where I'm being held, and just before I can get an understanding, a loud noise is heard from where he went, and a flash of light appears down the hall. Then suddenly, I'm inside of a diner, watching a bird pick apart at a fleshy looking object outside. While I'm watching the bird, a conversation on the phone is occurring between a man and a woman. It sounds like a conversation between an agency and a cleaner. And after the call ends, the contents on my table reveal to me that my job is to kill someone but I don't yet realize who or why. I start to reload the revolver on my table, and just as I finish, I'm then transported into a conversation a few stalls over. There's a man demanding my professionalism, talking about a job that needs to be done. And as the conversation continues with this dealer, they tell me that they've stashed some tapes back in my apartment for a job. They tell me how important they are, and that I must get them across the border. And once again, I'm back to the person with the revolver. I start to look around the empty diner, and I notice a door that leads to a room in the back. And as I go up to it, I kick the door in, revealing the man of whom I was just conversing with. He throws his hands up as I point the revolver in his direction, then in a quick moment, the game cuts away, with only the word paratopic on screen. It's a bit of a cold open, but I'm invested. The idea of living through other people's lives, through their actions within this story, had me so intrigued on where it was going, I kept on playing. If I had to describe this game to anyone, it's a tense horror game that puts you in the front seat of every crucial decision made by each individual in the story. Each decision then reflects back into someone else's life, and it's those moments that we start to see the consequences unfold. In Paratopic, the order in which the story is told is jumbled up and very confusing at first. You'll go from body to body wondering who you are, but as the game progresses and more happens, you'll understand who is who and what their role is. Something I really loved about this game was the atmosphere. It's uncomfortable and very unnerving at times. You do get moments of clarity like hiking through nature and taking pictures of birds, but then it shifts to something way more sinister. The whole time I was playing this game, I felt uneasy as if I was being watched, and at some points, I actually was. The music is very unsettling. It adds to the intense nature of what's happening around you, and the low resolution art style mimics the feeling of dread. Things are skewed to our vision and what we see is what we get. Alluding to a presence being there, but never showing who they are, always had me on edge. One of my favorite sections in this game is dedicated to driving your vehicle down a seemingly endless road. It represents the roles that you have assumed, and as you juggle each person, you realize that they are all connected. They've each traveled down this same road, and all with different purposes in mind. As you are driving, you can see multiple shifts of juggling each person just by looking at the seat beside you. One second there is a box of smuggled goods, the next it's a revolver, and then, there's nothing at all. Each role is connected at this point, and I've realized that we've all driven down the same road to get to our destined point in the story. The smuggler traveled out to get the tapes across the border, the assassin following their footsteps to put an end to anyone who has knowledge of these tapes, and the bird watcher who discovers the secrets she shouldn't have along the way. I believe Paratopic serves as a solid game. It strays away from the normalities that other games preach, with its creative and immersive storytelling, and while it holds your hand, it doesn't really allow you to let go. Experiences like this one happen to be very rare within the video game industry. Although I welcome games like this, I also understand its niche audience and why everyone might not. Paratopic is what I would consider to be an artsy game. Not just by its style, but by its narrative and plot points. It's very short and very intimate. 
The story's plot is meant to divulge into the use of terror by association, and it uses abstract imagery and raw emotion from the player to progress its plot directly. Right from the very beginning of the game, it will tell you that this is meant to be played in a single setting. No saves, and no way of turning back. I have always looked at video games as a gateway to adventure. Whether it's a complex story, heavy mechanics, or intriguing gameplay, if he can convey a way to appreciate the differences that life brings us, it's worth making. And games have always found a way to convey just that, and this one is no different. Needless to say, Paratopic didn't disappoint me at all. In fact, it gave me something I was looking for, but honestly I didn't realize it until the end. The beauty of video games like this is that I didn't even know I was playing a horror game until it was too late. I thought the story was crafted really well, even with the intention to confuse me. Once I gathered all the information on who everyone was, watching it all unfold was just as satisfying. Now, I know this is a different type of game than what you're used to seeing on my channel, but I really hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. This was something that was new to me too, and I really enjoyed the experience that I got out of this one. Anyways, my name is Zen, I hope you have a really great day, and I'll catch you in the next one.